guys to the Real Estate Stew with the What's Cooking crew. I'm Patrick. And I'm Keisha. Always nice to see you guys. And guys, today we're going to check and see what are some of the hot, hot questions going on for us in this pot. Oh, yes, I will. Let's stir it up. Stir it up. I, I keep getting more than one here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's one. I can tell this is a good one. This viewer wants to know. Can a person receiving social security income buy a oh, home? Yeah. Great question. Excellent. I get that one a lot. Well, I think the important thing to do starting off is to make the distinction between types of social security income. First, we have retirement income, and then we have disability income. Disability income can be one of two types, either permanent or temporary. Now for the lender, the lender likes income that's predictable. So retirement income and permanent disability income are always going to work when you're trying to qualify for a mortgage. The lender can use that as they would any regular income to calculate what you can afford to purchase. Now, another thing, guys, that's very important, too, when Keisha mentioned permanent and she mentioned temporary, is understand that whenever you're applying for a loan, one of the most important things to a lender is knowing that that income is anticipated or expected to come in for, an ex for a period of time. Yes. So, Keisha, the period of time that you need to be mindful of is at least three years. Absolutely. Okay? Very so, with important. temporary income, even if you have, you can verify through the Social Security Administration that you'll be receiving it for at least three years, Oftentimes, the lender can still use that as they would the retirement income or the permanent income. Yeah, that puts you in, I mean, you're really in good shape. Now, yeah. another thing I like to point out with Social Security, because, you know, typically what we find, guys, is, I don't know, for some reason, people are like, I'm getting Social Security, you know, disability. Yeah. I, I just And they I, think they can't buy. Can. Guys, listen, first of all, Social Security income, guess what? It shows up every month on time. Right. Blizzard storm, hurricane, whatever, that money shows up in your account. Why? Because we're not depending on the mailman, right? The USPS right. to deliver it. It shows up electronically. So that's a huge plus. Lenders love that. What else? The other thing is it's not going anywhere. Like those of us that, that, that go to work every day, you could end up losing a job. The business could go out of business. One thing about Social Security is you have none of those things to worry and about. And guess who provides it? The government. Hey, we're not yes. going to say anything else about that other than the government, we expect them to be around, right? For so guess what? Time. They're going to be around a long time. And guess what else is going to be around a long time? Your, Your Social check. Security check. <laughs> That's right. All right. So again, all of these things are huge. But you know what? The one thing that I want to make sure that you guys understand is this. With Social Security income, I get this a lot. Mr. King, you know, I make 1500 Mr. King, I make... 800. Mr. King, I make 2,000. I just don't think that's enough. So, so here's something I want you to know. With Social Security income, there are certain lenders out there, so that's a huge question. So write, write that down, guys. I want you to go out and ask the lenders if you're considering purchasing with your Social Security income. Say, hey, I have Social Security income. Do you gross up? Write that down. Gross up. Okay. Now, why are you asking that? Because if the lenders gross up, and you only want to work with the ones that do, in my opinion, because if they gross up, let's use $2,000. If you have $2,000 in income a month, in your awards letter, that's where you'll find some of you saying, hey, Mr. King, how do we know your awards letter is what they go by? So you want to have that. Take your awards letter, see what amount is on there. Let's say it says 2,000. So what you'll do is think of 100. So you have 100, you're going to subtract, let's say you want to gross up 30, 40, in this case, 25%, because with Social SSI, Social Security, you can gross up 25%. So you take your 100, you subtract 25 from it, that equals what? 75, and you want to put a percent sign. So 100 minus 25 equals 75, so that means we're going to use 75 to calculate a 25% gross up. You take your check amount, the $2,000 for your Social Security, you divide that by 75%, Yes. And I will tell you what you're going to get. You're going to get $2,666.67. That is now the amount that the lender is going to use as your income, guys. Absolutely. That's huge. Do you realize you just went up $666.67? That's huge. Yes. Very important to note. I want you all to remember that. Gross up, okay? And the reason the lenders are able to do this is because Social Security income is not taxable. So at, once you get your $2,000, you don't have to take part of that and give it back to the government for taxes like those who are getting regular W-2 wages. So the lender gives you a credit for that, if you will. So that's the beauty of Social Security income. It does give you a little bit of an edge. So when the lender's ready to calculate your debt to income ratio, and that's the number that they're going to use to determine how much of your income is allocated towards certain debt. 
So when they're calculating your debt to income ratio, they're going to use the full $2,666.67 as Patrick gave in that example as your full income and calculate your debt to income ratio based on that. And of course, guys, you're going to hear terms like front end ratio, back end ratio. We'll get into all that in subsequent uh, videos, et cetera. So we definitely encourage you to tune in. But you know, I would say, Keisha, for those of you that were wondering about yes. Social Security income and the ability to purchase with Social Security income, absolutely, absolutely guys, absolutely. Yes. Yes. And listen, always, always, always pursue the goal of home ownership, whether it's Social Security income or whatnot. So with that being said, Keisha, you know, there's always that question. Was that a... Hot topic. hot topic or not, was it? You know what, here's how we like to distinguish it like this. Okay, they're like, what? <laughs> What'd you get? I'm oh, just she just got a rare tea. So yeah. for those of you, look at those of you that follow the, the What's Cooking crew, you know, we have our white and our red hats. So when we pull out the red hats, guys, that means what, Keisha? The topic, topic was, was hot. hot. <laughs> Social Security, very hot topic. Thank you guys for asking. Yeah. And listen, until next time, remember, definitely subscribe, definitely comment, and most importantly, like the video, guys. Absolutely. We look forward and to seeing future questions. Oh, that's too. right. Questions, questions at whatscookingcrew.com. See you next, next time. time.